I have a smorgasbord of Gerber products that we have just finished engraving. This was um, just a collection of the ones we've done today. So I just thought I'd show you some different images and how they looked. Um, I wanted to let you know that the normal place for our engravings is we will always go on the handle first if it can. Now in all of these today I only have one on the handle. Everything else had to go on the blade but I'm going to talk to you about our policy that you do have the choice for the font. You do have a choice of placement. This guy could have picked it on the handle or he could have picked it on the blade which we would have just opened it up and put it on the blade there. But if you don't make a choice and you don't tell us the certain area that you want it to be engraved on, our first choice we will try to get it on the handle. Depends how, see this one has Gerber and Flick on it. Depends where we can fit it. But since he had just the initials, those fit nice right there on the tool. Um, now this one looks really good on the blade because that handle had the holes so it has to go on the blade. That one you probably wouldn't have gotten a choice. Uh, same with this. If the handle is texturized it would also have to go on the blade. It would not be able to go on the handle. Uh, but we prefer the handle as the first choice. That way you don't have to open up your tool to show someone the personalization. They can just see it right there. They know it's your tool and not there so not to touch. The black wanted to show you how it comes out just a nice gold kind of copper. Um, that's the black and that's how it would look on a black handle. Now when it comes on a silver it's going to kind of come out a darker silver to gray color. Um, on this one it is showing a little bit more gold tone and that is just because that's the property of the blade so you know sometimes it just depends what color it will be but we don't have a choice on that. It's not like we're pushing a color in. This is a Yeg laser and it just burns. So it has to do with the property of the tool that you are burning. We normally do a Times New Roman font. Uh, if you do have another font in mind, we would be glad to specify for you. Uh, you can change it to a script, whatever you might like. You just have to tell us in the notes section. Now also he went for three lines so as you can see we just had to size it to the tool and it's still very legible but it had to go smaller just to fit all that he wanted. He had a lot of sayings for his. Um, for the 495 charge you do get up to 33 characters so you can fit quite a bit if you are looking to put a lot or make it short and sweet like the initials. As you can see they went bigger because they were just the initials and we size it to the size of your knife. As you can see like with the Gerber, you know, we go maybe just a hair smaller than the logo of the item. So as not to overpower, but definitely to, you can tell, the personalization and the added touch. So this is a little in-depth of our engraving and the choices that you do have. We hope that we can help you to find and make you the best present. Groomsmen, we'd love to help you fix up your groomsmen party, so just give us a call, 1-800-458-1606, and we'll be glad to help you with that order.